Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about a clicky course and commissions and deals and coupons that you can add to your courses to help you sell your courses to help you promote your courses to help to help it so that others want to promote your course and talk about your courses and and yeah get more sales and have uh, limited time offers and those kinds of things we're going to show you how you can do that with clicky course in the last few days we've been talking about the top five reasons why you should be using clicky course this is reason number three of the top five and we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so course uh not course but click e-course right click e-course is a site that you're going to host your courses on and it's meant more for marketers for online um, uh, coaches and those kinds of uh, businesses although you can host any kind of course on it but it's meant for simple courses you can make it complicated but uh, I try to uh, create the site so that it's easy to use for a marketer for somebody who's trying to build a business online grow your audience that kind of uh, of use if you will of a course hosting site um, by the way before I get on any further if you're listening to the audio of this as I say in every episode go check out a cis336.jsgagnon.com to go check the video out and the blog post because I do share the screen so <laughs> so let's get to that right now so let's first start with the screen share this as you can see is Facebook let's just make this the size so it fits the the screen here all right so on Facebook um I have a test account called Bob webinar I just have this in an incognito window um in previous episodes I've probably shown you this this is a course I created to test to show you how to use courses on the site um let's just back up a little bit and kind of just show you the basics first so if I log out here um when I go to the site if I just go to clickycourse.com I'm going to end up on this page right so the site is uh, where is it the this if you go to this link right clickycourse.com that's going to get you to this site where you can register an account so you would just click on the register link right here and most likely continue with Facebook which will create uh which will well, it'll pop up uh, a request for you to accept uh click eCourse as a as a site to um to allow uh in your email to be sent you know that kind of stuff is right? just an approval thing that we that all all sites do and then once you're there you've got an account you'll see right here your profile picture if I go back let's just say I go back to here and let's just for the fun of it add a thumbnail to my to my uh these are uploads oh look at that I uploaded the uh, Diane Hockman's picture here so this is just upload a photo I'm just going to go into my downloads under here under images images where's I H I images and then I'm going to take say 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 what one of these no I've got those um let's use this one let's use this image here right and then I'm gonna have to crop it well, let's wait for it to load and I just want to show you how it kind of pulls in pulls that in if you have a uh, obviously if you have a profile picture that's what you want here I'm going to just set that up as my profile picture on here on this test account right then I'm going to have a profile picture like that right so now if I go and let's see what else what's where is that at I got to disable the, the the apps here if I go to apps apps um, 
I don't remember where it is but I can actually go in here under my no no not delete details details no profile I forget where that is it's under is it under here or maybe I put it no obviously not here it's not there under social maybe ah yes okay remove from your Facebook app so that'll take me to the settings the apps there you go okay so if I just remove this one so I'm going to just remove it that way it'll ask me again that's fine send notification that's fine remove okay done now if I go back here oops not here if I go back here and I log out okay so now when I go to the site it'll be like a like you your first time you go into the site this is what it, this is what it would look like right so first you would click on the register button right here and then it would say use Facebook to log in continue with Facebook I just click on that and it'll ask me do you allow click ecourse to receive your name profile picture and email address I'm going to say yep continue as Bob and then what happens is it activates the account and it fetches the profile picture actually it well I guess it won't fetch the profile picture because the account already exists but normally if it would have been a brand new account they would have gotten the, the same profile picture from the other uh from the Facebook so I can actually I'll do the same thing I'll just take the same image that I have here and I'll just use that now on Click eCourse I'd have to I should I don't have it so it, it allows you to um vertically scroll it so it'll actually try to fit it right in this so I'd have to to crop it first to make it uh the same but anyways it's still not too bad I suppose okay so so there you go so now if I go back to uh, the, now you can see that I have my profile picture right there it also says that it updated my profile picture in the news feed and that's how you create an account that's how you register an account now let's go to the courses and we're talking about we're supposed to be talking about you know the uh coupons the commissions the coupons and the deals right so how do you do that how so first of all why would you want to do that so uh let's go to the course I created here under courses uh, I'm not going to show you how to create a course there's 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 two courses I created for testing I'm just going to use this one here does it have oh these are modules okay so I have these four lessons in this course it's a $500 course and I want to offer it at a special deal because I'm doing a webinar right now I'm doing a webinar let's say this week and I want them to see this special deal of 197 dollars so that they can go to the to the site and request uh, and buy it at that price right so there's two ways you could do that first you could have a deal based on the time so any anybody who goes and <laughs> accesses your course <clears throat> your course would see um the special price or you give them a coupon so for if you want just anybody accessing a site say maybe you're doing ads at the same time or doing other things and you want people to see the special price then what you do is you create a deal now a deal is a time boxed price a time box special price uh, from a certain date to another date so you could actually have it start in three days from now and last a week or you can have it start right now or yesterday and end tomorrow or whatever you want right so when you click on manage deals and coupons right here it takes you to the uh, deal editing uh, page so there's you can either have a deal or a coupon right so if I want to create a deal I just go in here and I say okay this this can be a deal so a deal is a one-time thing it's like I said it's time boxed price <laughs> so I might say it's 297 from well right now uh to let's say uh in in a few days right so to let's say 25 okay um now there's other things expire type I can I'll talk about that in a second but for now we'll just use normal a normal expire type so there's a there's different ones 
but let's just show you what this one does if I do submit right here now whoops and just a reload actually I have to access this course from from another from another tab another browser so I can see what it looks like let's just use Firefox I wouldn't I don't even I haven't used Firefox in a long time it'll probably pop me up with a you know you want your browser to be the default and things like that but uh, let's just uh, not worry about that okay so I'm going to go to the course here okay so there so this is the site if I go to the to my course so let's get that link out of there so if I go to my course and I access this right now as you can see as a as a just as a regular person who doesn't even who doesn't have a coupon or anything I just go to the site I see that it says it's 297 until the 25th right <coughs> so that means midnight the 24th I guess right and I can buy it for 297 I can buy it right now I can click on buy now and I can actually buy it uh for that price right it says 297 right so 297 is the deal right now but what it's okay so that's that's the very basic basic simplest deal you can do let's go back here and add um, a, another, another kind of deal so now I can have uh let's say I have uh a deal at 197 and it starts and it ends at the end of the year 2021-1231 right but what I wanted to do is I wanted to look like it's finishing every single Friday so they would look they would see it ending Friday not at the end of the year so instead of you having to create a, a brand new deal every single week so that people see that it ends on Friday you can just say end this at the end of the year but make it a uh, make it a Friday end right uh, you can make it a month end a year end a weekend or a specific day end right so midnight on Friday so if you want to end it doesn't end the deal it just it just makes it look like it ends at that price so right now I'm going to end at midnight on Friday it's 197 you know how the other one was 297 right so now if I make this one as well right and now I have this other deal right here right this 297 this 197 right here if I go back to the Firefox and reload it go back to the course now I'm seeing it at 197 that's a better deal than the 297 that's why it picks that deal but as you can see it's ending at midnight on the 19th which is the which is actually today the Friday right that I'm recording this on Friday but then that's the thing so it, it ends it on the Friday now if we were Saturday it would actually show that it ends next Friday right um that's and that's a rec that's a I guess you, a rolling deal if you want to call it it's uh, I'm not sure what word we'd use but so as you can see it says this Friday right so I can have now I can have another deal at 97 dollars um that ends uh the end of the week so midnight in x weeks so now what the oh right so here's the other thing this other other x the x that's right there I can say Friday or I can say Sunday in two weeks so that means that every like right now it'll end two weeks from now so it shows you instead of being every week right so that's kind of what that's for uh let's see what else can I explain it's a, it is a little complicated to understand and maybe I need to improve how how it's presented or how it explained but anyways it gives you an idea mid every day midnight in next days right so I can actually say in three days right here and it's going to be 97 instead of, so let's just see what that one looks like right so now I have three deals now I have a new one at 97 dollars and if I go back here and I reload this it's going to say 97 and it's going to be in uh, uh, in three days so 22nd right so the 22nd is three days from now because I said end in three days from now so that would mean that every time every time it renews it'll always end three days from now <laughs> it's kind of like you know kind of like a a weird but it's an option right you can use that 
so you do the same thing for years for months that kind of stuff now if I delete this I just delete the deal now I don't have the 97 dollar deal again and if I reload this it'll just go back to the 197 right because that's the price that we have okay so that's deals now let's talk about coupons now the thing about coupons is that they are somebody has to have the coupon or the coupon link to actually take advantage of that special price now you would want to use that for example in your webinar you might want to say by the right now this course is 500 dollars, but if you act now with this coupon you can get it for 97 47 whatever you want to do right and you can even make the coupons a uh, maximum number of uses so that means you can have only 10 coupons or 20 coupons at that price and you can have you can even have multiple coupons right where you have different price levels so if they if if your 97 dollar coupon gets used up maybe you have a 125 dollar coupon and then maybe you have a 150 dollar coupon then maybe you have a hundred two hundred dollar coupon whatever right and then you have these different different prices that over time goes up right because people uh will use up the 95 dollar coupon so they can't use it anymore so they'll have to go and maybe you have a list of coupons someplace at your webinar you say you know the first five people you can use this coupon but if you can't if they're all if all, all sold at this price you'll have to use this coupon so you might give them all the coupons right so that they can click on either one and then that's kind of how you can do it so that the how that works is under the coupon section you would call this deal deal one and let's say this is a 47 dollar and I just want to give five of those right so now I have the 47 dollar deal right here crazy price then I have deal two and let's make this 97 dollars and I'm going to give 10 people this coupon so now I can have more than one coupon like you see right here I'll say deal three and this one will be at 147 and let's say I'm going to give you know 50 of these all right so now I've got three coupons I can give to people at the end of my webinar I can say hey you know what if you act really fast if you're in the first five you'll be able to use this coupon here at, at 47 dollars but if not the the next 10 can get it at 97 dollars and if not you'll be able to get it at 147 and <laughs> so then what happens is you can give people this link if I if I just uh, copy this link deal one is a link that they can use or you can just put deal one right in the box here right you can just tell them to type deal one in the box I'm going to apply that and it, as you'll see that it says now it's 47 dollars with coupon deal one remain 505 if I put deal two in here it'll just be it'll show 97 dollars right 97 dollars with remaining 10 of 10. now if I say buy now it remembers the coupon I used and it will tell me that I can pay 97 dollars right with coupon deal two right um so that's yes so that's how you use the deals the deals and the coupons so the coupons right now the next thing you want to do is you want to give people commissions to your course you want other people to promote your course now how do how do they you know make sure that they get their money right there's 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 a, a process involved but it's not too complex so the first thing you want to do is you want to go edit the course and you want to add a commission to it if I, you go up here to price commission and then you want to put a price and a commission now I already had it at 90 percent the default commission is 30 you can set it to zero if you want if you don't want to give any commission you can set that to zero so then nobody no even somebody who promotes it won't get anything right it's really up to you uh the system automatically takes care of of receiving the money from the purchaser and divvying up the money to you and to your uh, referrer right and uh, just so you know the system we don't we don't take anything uh from your we don't have a per transaction fee or anything like that we use <coughs> the payment processor way we pa we pass on the payment processor fees but we don't charge anything extra right like if you use a credit card versus paypal that kind of stuff you're going to get uh there's going to be a fee to that to do the transfer of funds and things um 
so that gets taken off but that's not some we don't charge anything extra right we just have a our monthly uh, accounts for the advanced users okay so after you set your price and your commission then what happens is if somebody else accesses this course page if I go to here and I go as me I think I believe I have a browser here that I have here so let's just go to here if I go to this uh, link now to this course it says right here oh I'm not logged in okay I gotta log in log in as me all right and reload okay so now it shows me because I'm an affiliate it shows me that I can get 90 percent of commission on sales so what I do is I click on this blue text and then it's it tells me here's your link to get 90 percent or 17730 in commission on course syndication method now if the thing is that the the dollar amount I probably should maybe I should change that text there a little bit because the dollar amount is you're not going to get the dollar amount you're going to get the percentage of whatever the sale is so if the if the person uses your link and then uses the coupon deal one for example they're going to pay 47 dollars right because that's what we did for that deal well you're going to get 97 90 percent of the 47 dollars not 90 percent of the not 90 percent of the full price right if I if I didn't have this uh this this uh deal right now if I didn't have the deal right now uh, let's just delete them right I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete this one as well all right so now I don't have any deals if I go back here and I reload this page it'll show me the price at 500 dollars right and it'll tell me that I'll get 450 in commission right so I probably want to update that um anyways I'm just kind of explaining that the the commission isn't a dollar amount it's a percentage of the sale price um so that's the thing if you get you have to uh you have to un, the people that are promoting need to understand and that's one thing that I probably should update the, the site to fix that but um you would and then you would just send people this link right if I open this link and let's copy this link and open it in Firefox if I send this to a friend and I say hey go here to this link what that does is it it cookies me as the person who referred this other person right so now whenever they try to buy that course if they try to buy the course or if they try to register an account then I'm going to be their referrer right so right now it's it says waiting for Facebook I don't know what's wrong with this this computer eh <laughs> Uh, but yeah so that's kind of how that works so when you use when the when when your referrer uses their link to share a course they cookie the other person to them and then until the other person either buys a course or visits somebody else's link they're tied to you for I think two years um and that means that even if they find like say an ad for clicky course or another ad for another course without a link to somebody else's page with it's just an ad from our platform they were to click on it they would be still cookie to to you to that refer right and that would um I'm just going to reload this there must be something going on with the anyways okay so as you can see right here it says uh deal two I still have the coupon oh I should probably remove the coupon okay so uh it's not forgetting the coupon but anyways okay so coupon equals let's just put coupon equals abc which doesn't exist so let's see what he does okay there you go okay so um so now I've gotten let's just go back to this original link here when I do that when I go to that link or when somebody goes to my link that I sent them right if I go and register 
it says right here that as referred by Jean Serge right and that allows I don't what it's I tell you I want social media to track me <laughs> anyways okay so uh that means that if this I'm not all right I'm not logged in on there right so um anybody who registers using your link becomes a refer of yours all right so if I go back to say this one and close this okay so now oh that's not the one I wanted to go back to here there okay so as the creator of the course I can manage deals and coupons using the coupons and I can edit the course to create commissions and then when I create commissions somebody else who wants to become an affiliate just has to go there's an affiliate link down here there's a process to become an affiliate it kind of explains uh, how all this works gives you examples of uh, payments that you would get if they were on the on the payment plan and um you also get up to 100 percent of commissions on courses you refer so that's and you, but you just have to go through this you just click on become an affiliate and then you're you're an affiliate once you're an affiliate you will have a link like this page where is it you will have a link like this page up here you're going to have a your link up here and on any, any course that has a commission you're going to have a link for the course by just clicking on this to get the the, the link you can say copy to clipboard or you can right click and <laughs> say copy link address right so that allows you to take this link that's that becomes your affiliate link for this one course you can have an affiliate for every every single course on the site or you can even have uh, an affiliate link to the site itself just by putting your user see how it says jsg right in front here so whatever your user is when you set up became an affiliate becomes the the name you put in front of any link even like for example if I want to send people to my profile uh I want people to see my courses that are public I can actually send them this this link and add add my JSG right here whoops you can't even see it right so down here where it says www.clickecos I can just replace that with JSG in my case because that's my link but you can create replace it with whether whatever your user is Mary or Bob or Frank or Michelle or whatever you decide it to be or you know a uh, super affiliate or whatever name you choose as your user uh, name and that's kind of how that works all right uh what else what else and yeah so you can send them to the plan pages too if you want to send them to uh, <coughs> to this this page here you want to tell them okay you know what you should get a beginner plan or you should get a professional plan or extreme plan or whatever you can actually uh, use this here if I click on this you can actually send them this link right and with your JSG right there or your user ID and then they'll they'll get this this page but you'll get the the referral right and that's kind of how that works um yeah so that's it that's how you create courses and add coupons and add deals and add commissions and get people to promote your course on the site and uh let you uh this and let you share the site and have them share your courses and and all that that's crazy stuff right all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions or comment as always just go ahead and comment below the video comment below the blog post and, <laughs> and let me know and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.